5,000 eastern black rhinos left in the world. They're hunted extensively due to that horn. Now, ladies and gentlemen, some cultures believe that that uh, horn has medicinal powers. It does not. Check. It's made up of keratin, the same protein your hair and fingernails consist of. Believing that that horn will cure cancer, same as believing that chewing your fingernails are going to cure cancer. It will not happen. Uh. Western black rhino has been declared extinct last year. Wow. On your left hand side, look at those big white birds here. In a way, they probably look familiar. Those are great white pelicans from southern and south Africa. Similar to the brown or California pelican, but look, they're about two to three times the size. And due to their size, their hunting techniques are different. They'll spend up to about 80% of their lives on the water. They will school fish together and pick off the weak ones, so they supply natural selection to fish populations. And they can occur in groups of up to 50 to 100 birds. Remember the brown pelicans? You'll see maybe 8 to 12 flying to a height of about 25 feet and then diving after their prey. These guys are too big to dive. They can hold up to three gallons of water in that guler pouch. That is the pouch on the lower beak. Now, a lot of their natural habitat is being threatened, especially in southern Africa and places like the St. Lucia Wetland Park in eastern South Africa. Because of mining developments, a lot of runoffs from these mines will contaminate their water resources. Now, look at this lady on our left-hand side. The world's biggest bird is a female ostrich. Ladies and gentlemen, they do not uh, bury their heads in the ground. It's a myth. They will suffocate. But what they will do, especially on a hot day, they'll lie down. Whoops, she's letting it go. There we go. <laughs> on a hot day, they'll actually tuck their head in between the wing and the body. And from afar, when lying down, they look like a rock. And uh, they can run up to speeds of 45 miles an hour on two legs. Can you believe it? The fastest human being, a 100 meter Olympic athlete, 28 miles an hour. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? And that inner claw, very dangerous. There's few animals as dangerous as a male ostrich protecting a nest. These goats you see on your right hand side, these are Barbary red goats, or Udads, they are from the Atlas Mountains in North Africa. Quite a number of uh, goat species in Africa, but these are endangered because of pressures on their habitat. It's being turned to agricultural land, and as you know, a goat eats anything in sight, so people hunting them because they are devastating their crops, not fair to the goats, they were there first. On your right hand side, look at these magnificent birds on the rock here. Those are Western Rupel's Vulture or the Cape Griffin Vulture. The highest flying bird species in the world, ladies and gentlemen. They can fly up to 36,000 feet. Oh Next time you're on a Boeing 747, think about that. Now, most vulture species are highly endangered because uh, farmers, especially in Southern Africa, set out poison carcasses to trap caracal and jackals. Unfortunately, these animals take the brunt of it. They ingest those poisons by feeding on those carcasses. And if you look across the lake there on the nest, is a hatchling well he's almost two months old three months old one of our latest uh, birds we get about a birth a day here at the park about 300 to 400 births a year that's good on the left hand side look at this shaggy antelope ellipsin water buck ellipsin because of that white elliptical ring on the rear end it's a follow me mark white light uh, moonlight will bounce off of the white coloration so at night it's like a big neon sun helps them follow each other when moving around Look at that shaggy coat, they will flee into water when pursued by a predator. The sweat glands will also secrete an oily substance to protect that coat. And I must add that uh, if a lion had a choice, I'd much rather go for a wildebeest or a zebra because that oil is very distasteful to lions. And then these gazelles on your right hand side, Sumerings gazelle, they are from Somalia, a semi-arid living species. Notice the markings on the face, the black again cuts out the glare, the white reflects moonlight back into the eyes. Remember, when you are a uh, desert living species, you want to move around during the night time. You want to conserve energy and water. You don't want to move around during daytime. And they cover vast distances at night in search of food. They have a lot of, yeah. lot of habitat. Yeah, like a couple of animals. Yeah, like, they were like, 